Revelation 3307. From the 26th of October 1944. Greatness of guilt prevents entrance into the afterlife. Banishment. The amount of guilt humanity is burdened with increases daily, and all people are to be called guilty who carry out or approve of actions which deny them any love for their neighbor. Where hatred and unkindness break through people's sin, for they offend against divine order, they offend against the commandments of love for God and their neighbor. And thus they increase their guilt with every action that is bad, and even he is guilty who does not detest such an action but consents to it. But people do not consider the consequences, they must, however, take them upon themselves on earth or in the beyond and since guilt increases to an immeasurable extent, it can neither be redeemed on earth nor in the beyond, for the time on earth is too short, and in the beyond an upward development can only proceed from a certain degree, and people no longer reach this degree who make themselves guilty to the extent that they daily and hourly commit new acts of unkindness. And therefore they must remain on this earth. They cannot enter the spiritual kingdom after their death, but their death will only mean a change of their outer form, their souls will receive other coverings and continue to move on earth only in a completely unfree state. For through their excessive guilt they have, forfeited all freedom, and they fall into an agonizing captivity from which they cannot free themselves. But the greatness of the guilt requires an atonement and since they would have to languish and suffer for eternities in the spiritual kingdom if they wanted to be released from their great guilt, it is God's work of mercy that he creates another possibility to atone for this guilt and at the same time to strive towards freedom again, even if the soul is granted renewed freedom of will after an infinitely long time. But in a state of compulsion it is nevertheless induced to an activity which at the same time signifies a higher development, while in the beyond, in the spiritual kingdom, the beingness lacks all strength and the will to activity is also completely paralyzed through its own fault. Thus even the seemingly most cruel work of the divine creator is a work of love on the fallen spiritual being which has increased its former guilt many times over through God opposing actions it carries out on earth in free will. And as long as people don't turn around and change to love, they heap guilt upon themselves, and the consequences are frightening, for they inevitably draw God's judgment upon themselves and deprive themselves of all freedom. For they have to atone according to divine justice, they have to accept all consequences. They have to walk the path once again through the whole of creation until they are given free will again in order to be able to use it for their final release from the form. Amen.